everybody. Welcome back. I'm here on an adventure that's not at a theme park today. And we are kicking off the spooky season by doing something that's not a haunted house, although it is scary. It's an escape room at Break Free. And we are gonna have a scary time because they have some new Halloween edition escape rooms and they have invited us to come play them today. Now I'm not gonna show you absolutely everything that goes down in there, just the good stuff, but I want you guys to come here and solve the puzzles yourself. But let's go check it out. So we are here. This is Keith, he is the owner. What's going on here right now is Nightmare Escapes at Halloween. We do Nightmare Escapes games all year round, but they're more like a traditional escape room that's a little scary. I think you've done one. Yes, um, no, I, was, I was in one for a, little, a while. A little bit? Well, right, you were in one. I was in one and you're I played both the victim and the killer on different occasions. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> What's different about Nightmare Escapes at Halloween is we try to do more of a traditional hunt with escape elements in it. Yes. So it is a much larger uh, escape room. Right now, I think it's nine or 10 rooms. You've got 90 minutes to get through it. And in, in this one escape room, it's nine or 10 rooms? Yes. Okay. You're gonna do the first, the first one is Nightmare Escapes at, at Halloween. Okay. And that is the traditional style haunt with escape elements. Okay. And then you're gonna do the church after, okay. which is the last part of the game. This, which is, it all ties together story-wise, but uh, the church is the one that has no hints, there's no game master. Mm. You are pretty much, you know, knocked unconscious by a serial killer, dragged into a dark room and left there. This will be fun. All right. I'm ready. All right, let's do this. This is my crew, guys. Steph and Amy, they're gonna solve the puzzle while I sit there and not help, it's but scream. <laughs> it's scream. Are you ready, Steph? Are you ready, Amy? <laughs> okay, so we Carry have on. carried on into this actual haunt. Wow, they did a good job of like re-theming this. We were just down here a month ago, two months ago. It's really dark in here. <laughs> Steph, are you just testing every number combination? I mean, yeah. Amy's like, give it to me. Just breaks it off the wall. Excuse me, sir, we're trying to unlock a door. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I hope somebody's in that tent. Stop it! I <laughs> this is really cool. Your house. I, ow. <laughs> you know, Amy's just throwing things into my face. <laughs> Amy, you just moved it yourself. Amy's okay. touching things, and when it moves, when she touches it, she jumps away. Stop like, it. as if her own force didn't open it. I love this guy. Okay, honestly, this this tent's pretty sweet. I'd sleep in here. Okay. I'll go first, I'll go first. I'll go. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Wait, this is amazing. Cause the last time we were here, like this was all different haunts and like escape rooms. And now it's like Dude, a full remember, mansion. Uh, it reminds me of Silent Hill with all the- Nurses? No. Well, do you see any nurses around, yeah. Brendan? Yeah, all the here. doors. Oh, okay. and the, yeah, it's Silent Hill, like none of them unlocked. Oh, there's a safe. And there should be a digit. Roses. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you got it? Resident Evil. Come on. I just don't want to hit my head. All right, I'm getting out of the way so you can get in here. This is the coolest room here. you, Mr. Clown. That's hey, we know this room. <laughs> this was also part of the escape room we did before, and now it's part of this one. Ooh, what a great statement, Ryan. I do appreciate that Amy's opening all the books. What is it? I'm only open until where it's marked. Okay. Oh. Steph, yeah. call Alfred Pennyworth. Tell him I want a sandwich. Is it raining? While Steph stalls this puzzle, I'll just make myself comfortable in the oh, corner. Can you do something useful? I am. I'm filming you. <laughs> Did I not get it on you the line? I did not get it on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, it's scary. Amy's decorating in here for the next guest. The step room now? Oh, I do like this room. Yeah, this looks like your house this step. This is a super cool room. Okay, we got a lock no. here. Okay, Amy, you have to understand that before you were with Steph, she covered her entire walls with swords. Oh, I know. This and music is there. great, though. Take them down. Okay. Amy and I both didn't see that, but something just popped up and I won't tell y'all what it was. I like how I pull out a clue and Amy just grabs it for me. She's like, ooh, shiny. We're still we're still doing another escape room after this and we're like losing ourselves now. There's something behind you, I don't like it. A little scary. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that was that. This 
girl's just losing her mind right now. <laughs> this room is crazy cool and very loud. Excuse me, we're trying to solve this puzzle. We solved that puzzle and just like instantly all the animatronics stopped. It was very funny to me anyway. <laughs> I was like, what happened? This is me helping everybody. <laughs> A single point of light at the cross base is all you need to leave this place. There's somebody's head in there. Oh man, Excellent. we're in the land of mist. Excellent. Excellent, is that what you just said? Excellent. Excellent. Um. Oh my god, you <laughs> suck. Was that Steph? No, I will never be doing anything stupid like you. <laughs> well, I'm like, who's scaring people? Because it's not me right now. Somebody, there's somebody on the other side. Guys, we can't solve this puzzle, and I'm sure it's really simple, but this is where we are right now. Like we've been counting colors, which doesn't make any sense saying it like that, but you know, that's what we've been doing. What's really hard about this is that you can't ask for clues. So you have to try and figure it out on your own. I feel like I'm in a haunted house with Claire Redfield right now. <laughs> and I'm Wesker. That's an X for X-Men. There's a chainsaw sound effect in Amy's behind me right now. But that's just the sound of haunted houses to me. But it's usually, you, it's the thing that interrupts me talking to people. But you think they're gonna come in with a chainsaw to tell us we ran out of time? No, because he's not, that's not a real chainsaw. Yeah, but you know. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> it's funny because Keith, who is managing this and running this is like staring at us being like, it's not that hard, you guys. <laughs> he wants to die. Here we go, here we go, I'm trying to hunt. There's also, there's also this one chicken. She's like, no, let's go to this one now. Yeah. <laughs> this one's the one. Oh, what's behind door number one? Uh, no one wants to go in there. Oh my God, I think we do have to crawl in there. No one wants to go in there. <laughs> Maybe at the it's end of this, killer. somebody shows up and it's a clown with the chainsaw going, Amy, yeah, no, no. Amy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have a candle. Oh my God, I'm blinded. <laughs> yeah, she's like, turn around and look right at it. Just the head. Are we getting ahead of the game? Go first. <laughs> yeah, but go first. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, this is the church. Take this is a church? To church? Take me to church. Da 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 Look at this church. It's freaky in here. Alright. Alright, I'm sitting down for the sermon. Kind of. Okay. Oh. I found the, the stereo. Does that count for anything? Oops, sorry, you need a key to unlock this door. No shit. Something to tell y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, it's, a, it's an equation over here. Oh, okay. There's a good equation. So, turn. <laughs> Hold on, what was all that noise? He's in here now. Did we lose? Oh, it's the game over? We lost. Wait, is this what it looks like with the lights on? Oh. Ah! <laughs> guys, look, we're free. We made it out. <laughs> we did not escape that at all. See, that's less scary, Amy. What I'm most impressed about is that this whole room looks so different with the lights off and the fog. Like, it just. That looked way more scary than it was. Amy, watch out! <laughs> oh, the dog. Let the dog out. Hi, Matt. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is the best reward. <laughs> yes, hi. <laughs> Well, we were doing a tour, but he revealed he had a dog, and that was just the end of that. <laughs> this also looks so different in here with all the so this creepy lights. Like, obviously, when you put on like fake lights and turn on the real ones later, it looks so different. But like, yeah, it just looks like a house now. It does look like a house now. Yeah, it looks like my old apartment. It really does look like your own apartment. <laughs> no, it would look more like your apartment with the lights off because you never turn the lights on in that place. So, well, I mean, I just never use the windows. Okay, also like this room, 
Not nearly as scary with the lights on. Hey, Amy, do you need yeah, a hand? <laughs> I wasn't filming this, but he just called Amy out for being scared of literally everything in here. <laughs> everything, like the nails on the walls. It was, it was really funny. <laughs> Steph and I were laughing. Was, we were having a good time. Funny, this is the VIP entrance to the clown room. Yeah. Oh, it's like a clown rave. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a and weird vlogger in the mirror. Say hello, weird down. vlogger. <laughs> I just want to say thank you again. Yes, to definitely. For everybody to see that. We had a great time. It's, we've been here for like four hours, so <laughs> this is worth checking out. Um, Holy crap, you're not kidding. <laughs> no, I know. We just walked around and looked at everything with like the lights on. It was so cool. So, uh, yeah, thank you. This you was really to. an awesome experience. Hold on, I got to switch hands. Nah, not really. <laughs> Hey guys, it is the morning because I got home super late last night. We went out to dinner afterwards and Break Free 603 is about an hour away from my house. So I just called right into bed. And also there's a thunderstorm happening now so we're keeping it extra spooky. There it is. I love thunderstorms. My dog knows so much. She's currently underneath the bed. So just a couple things that I wanted to tell you, the viewers, is that if you're thinking about checking this out, Break Free 603 is up in New Hampshire and it's like right over the border of Massachusetts. So if you're in Massachusetts, you can definitely get there. Um, I've been there before just doing one of their regular escape rooms and it's a lot of fun. This was such a different experience because obviously they're doing a Halloween haunted house theme, but that first one that you saw us running through was unlike any other escape room I had done before. It was like a haunt without the actors, but a haunt that you would go through from each themed room. And instead of just walking through it, you had to figure out how to get out of each room and solve those puzzles. And there were like lots of cool pieces that I don't want to describe because I feel like it gives away some of the really unique parts of this game. But like it was a lot of fun and I had oh, like we we were just freaking out and like having a good time. So like it was really, really awesome. And the second one was just kind of like your standard escape room, except there was no timers, no hints, although Keith was sending me hints in my Facebook Messenger, and I was like, I'm not gonna tell them the hints. But that's just because we were play testing both rooms for him, and I thought it was really cool. And if you want a kind of a different experience, because I know everybody tries to go to the haunted houses in October, and I'm one of those people, you know, I used to work at haunts for a long time, and if you want to do something that's going to be a little bit different from that and you're like, oh, whenever I go to a haunt, I'm in and out of there in like 30 minutes, you're going to be in there for at least an hour trying to get out of the haunted house they set up for you. And it's interactive and you get to stay with your group. And there are a lot of jump scares, a lot of spooky things, but it's like a lot of fun and very different. And I highly recommend this. It was super cool. Please go check them out. I'll put all the information in the description below so you can just go click down there click the link and you know when you get there just say hey i saw the video on ryan pajelic's channel and i just wanted to come check this out so thank you all right everybody thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below also please check me out on all my social media twitter instagram twitch speaking of spooky things i'm playing resident evil on twitch and if you want to support me so I can continue making videos like this one, please check out my Patreon because anything you can tip helps me continue making videos like this one. All right, everybody, let's get spooky this season. Every day is an adventure and live your best life. <laughs>